guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn something very new, something very cool and something that Salesforce has given us in the Spring 22 release. That is a new feature which is called Flow Triggered Explorer. Okay. So in today's video, we are going to learn two things. First, uh, I'll tell you about the Flow Triggered Explorer. What are the benefits? What are the new features? What are the new elements that we get in the Flow Trigger Explorer? And second thing we learn is how we can set the trigger orders. What I mean with trigger orders that that uh, just suppose if account object has five triggers so you can set which trigger to run first and then second then third then fourth and then fifth okay so that is a new thing as well if you want to learn about flow trigger explorer and the trigger order then keep watching but before that if you have not subscribed to this channel a uh, click on the subscribe button below will be awesome so let's just click on the subscribe button first and dive straight into it Okay, so this is the first look of the new feature that I was talking about, the Flow Trigger Explorer. And on top of the flow list, you can see here, here we have Flow Trigger Explorer button. Now, I'll tell you what it will do. Okay, so uh, as you can see in setup, we can click on flows and we get all the list of flows that we have already created. Okay, but in this, uh, we have to figure out which are the screen flows which are the uh, record triggered and automated flows which are the scheduled triggered flows okay so uh we just have to search for it and then uh again if we know uh, which is the triggered flow we have to click on the flow then we can go to the details and find out what is in that flow actually but what is the benefit of flow trigger explorer here it comes in flow trigger explorer you will get all your record triggered flow at one place for different different objects that you have created for different different actions that you have created okay so at one place you can check out all the before save all the after save flows all the asynchronous jobs of that object that you have created okay and that will be fun after that uh, you can also see the details of the flow the version of the flow you can deactivate the flow activate other versions of the flow as well and you can open the flow as well from that window itself. Isn't it great, right? So let's just click on this button and see its magic. Let's click on the flow trigger explorer. Okay, let's close this first. Okay, so let's just uh, keep it simple and let's just talk about it one by one. So first section is object section basically in which we have when and and then objects drop down in which you will get all the objects that you have here and record is after that you have action drop down which will be basically created, updated or deleted. Okay, so basically record triggered flow uh, works on these two, these three uh, actions, which is created, updated and deleted when a record is created, when a record is updated or deleted. Okay. So from here, what you can see is you can select the object you want to see triggers for, and then you can select the action you want to see like uh, on account, if you want to see all the created record triggered flow. So you can choose created after that, you can choose updated and deleted as well. Okay. So that is that. Now, uh, below that you have three points. First is fast field updates, which is basically before save flow as well. Second is actions and related records, which is after save flow as well. And third is run asynchronously, basically the asynchronous jobs that you have. Okay, so uh, let's see, we have selected when an account and record is created. Okay, let's open it. Yeah, so here you can see when an account is created i have one trigger which will run before save okay that is account state update i have created account state update flow so that will be here now in second option uh, we have actions and related which is after save flow okay so we have three triggers here which you can see in this list below and run asynchronously we don't have anything okay so there's zero now you can see here we have counts also like uh, in fast field update we have only one item in action and related objects related records we have three items okay now that is not all let me just show you what you can do with them okay so first of all if you want to go to the flow details page just like from the list we go to the flows you will click on the name and you will be redirected to the flow detail page but that's not all here we have a drop down in which you have two options first is flow details and versions second is open flow okay so if you click on flow details and versions there will be a detail window also open here in which you can see flow detail like last modified uh, its version uh, what is the process type what is the trigger 
and all of that it has only one version so it is just showing that and the status and Again, if you want to deactivate this flow, you can do it as well from here only, okay? You can just click on the deactivate button and you can deactivate it, okay? And if you want to see all the details, we have the details here. Again, you have a flow open button here also. If you click it, uh, it will redirect you to the flow details page, okay? So that is that. The second option on the drop down is open flow, which is basically it will open the flow in the next window for you. It is a detailed part of Flow Trigger Explorer. But what we can also do is we can just list out which flow we want to run first. Okay. So let's say here we have only one flow. So there's no need to do that. Here we have three flows. Okay. So let's say I want the opportunity one to run first and then the create case and then the create contact one. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll just open opportunity flow. Here you have the settings icon and show advance. In the show advance, I have already set the number, but I'll just show you. There is a column trigger order. Okay. So in trigger order, you can add trigger orders from 1 to 2000. Okay. So you can sort out from like maximum of 2000 of flows, which is great. Right. Okay. And you can set the number like this is the first flow and Salesforce will make sure that this will run first before those two. To remember, these numbers are just for the uh, after sale flow okay so in after sale we are uh, saying that opportunity will run first but writing first here will not let the opportunity one run before the before save one okay so the before save one will occur and after that in after save uh, the opportunity one will occur at first and then the case then the account okay mm, let me just show you if we we'll click on open flow on the case one i think i have set it to second yes the trigger order is second and in the create contact one the trigger order is third here the trigger order is third so what will happen is let me just show you the uh, flow that what will happen after what okay so first of all the account state update will occur okay first of all the run before will update anyways now after that in the run after save you will have uh, the trigger order set so the opportunity one will occur then the create case account will occur then the create contact will occur okay now there's one drawback but i think salesforce will work on that uh which is we have set the trigger order right but still it will show you alphabetically in this order okay so in this list you will not see it by trigger order you will see it by alphabetical order instead so it will run in the trigger order but it will show in the alphabetical order which can be confusing sometimes you have to just go to the details page to check the uh, trigger order uh, which will be great if there's a sorting or trigger order wise or something like that so hoping for the best that it will come soon if this update will come soon uh, other than that this flow trigger explorer is very awesome feature you can see all your trigger flow at one place for every object let me just show you an example let's select case and for case i don't have any created one i guess let's click on update yeah so on case when record is updated i have these two flows okay so i can see all the list of flows that i have i want to deactivate it i can and if uh, it has versions on them i can just select which version i want to select and which version i want to deactivate like this none flow has three versions but the uh, second version is activated okay so if i want to deactivate this version i can deactivate it and i can simply activate the third version okay so that is just great you don't have to go to the details page again and you can just do it from here uh, if you want to again activate the second version you can do that and the third one will be deactivated automatically okay so that is it that is the idea of today's video to let you know about the new feature that salesforce has bring to us uh, in the spring 22 release which is flow flow trigger explorer 
uh, this is a very great feature for uh, developers to check all the details at one place you don't have to shift around tabs and check all the flows okay i hope you like this episode i hope you like this uh, new feature as well i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning